We are live, Instagram live, top five bridal undergarments. If you've been thinking about what in the world do I wear inside my wedding dress, this video is for you. If you'll watch this video all the way to the end and comment below live or in the replay, I would like to answer all of your questions. You're gonna notice how much more supported and informed you're gonna see a lot today. I truly believe that your breasts, your your undergarments is such a personal space that what works for me won't work for another D cup woman or what works for one person won't work for another. And it's such a personal space and you have to try it before you buy it. And that's why we have all these great samples for you. Okay, so as we get started live, I wanna give you a little tour as we let people jump on and let me show you what I have for you. Okay, I've got all of the inner corsets that I did the reel on and have been kind of showing you. I've got some lace-up styles and different styles here. Then we're gonna talk about the traditional bras. These are the ones that you see at department stores and online. They're very typical. We're gonna talk about my favorite of this category and some of the pros and cons. And then we're gonna talk about boning. We were kind of touching on that a lot this week because it's one of my, what's one of the, wild cards that you're not expecting. So we're gonna talk about boning and adding structure into the dress. And then we also have spanks. To spank or not to spank. I know that you're trying to figure that out, but I also have a wild card for spanks to show you. So we're gonna cover that. And then we have the ever popular bra cup. These are definitely gonna be the best seller. Most of you are going this direction. You might pick up a little combination of others, but we're gonna talk about some different ways that we're gonna do the bra cups that you probably didn't know. We are in the back of the store. Full day, I had some meetings here where I do my calls and we have dressing rooms back here. We do overflow for alteration visits on busy days. And then we've got a lot of our customization samples here. So if you're coming to work with us and you're doing like glitter tool and all the sparkly things, we've got that back here. And then we have accessories, some tables, and yeah, this is where we're working today. We're in the back your VIP today. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button for weekly videos on Wednesdays. First, I wanna start with the most popular. This one is very straightforward, the bra cup. 90% of you are gonna end up with this bra cup and you probably didn't know a few things, so I'm gonna share them with you. This, I would say, is the most popular. It's the gel bra cup. Once you purchase these, you have them for life. The gel lasts so long. You could go to the botanical gardens with like a cami tank. You know those tanks that have the little under um, lining? You can stick these in there or put them into your favorite bras and it turns an ordinary bra into a Victoria's Secret plunge bra. So you can imagine if your dress is tailored and fitting you properly, you can put these in at the side at an angle, which will give you lift. So if you've made the comment that you want your girls popping, these will definitely make them pop. And if you have zero breasts and you are like, I'm like an A, maybe at, on a good day, then a lot of times we'll do a combination for you. And sometimes manipulating these and sewing them together and then putting them in, you'll just be like, wow. I mean, it makes such a difference in manipulating these. The other thing that's great about this is it's sewable. This gets sewn into your dress and it's just so strong in there. Sweat absorption, these are cloth and so they absorb sweat, but since this is gel and not cloth down here, all that sweat doesn't pull. And as you know, that's a pretty high volume sweat area. And so when you have like a cloth gel cup from like Joann's Fabric, those are good, but these are great because they don't interfere with your fabric on your dress. Like if you had a real clean dress and you had a lot of sweat pulling, um, I've had brides in the past say that they could see it in their pictures. And you know, if you're having a really long day, I can definitely see that th this would have its advantages. So this is gonna be your favorite, most cases. And a lot of brides put the full volume on and they're just like, whoa, that is just way too much. So you, you would prefer the natural gel cup. It's still gel, so it's still gonna have a lot of those qualities, but it's not gonna be as full volume. Also, the placement in your dress is really important. We have these in stock and also through our website. An underwire cup. Let me show you how you can DIY these. A lot of you will bring us your favorite underwire bra, but this is a strapless bra. If you're a D cup or larger, this is gonna be something we'll try, which is cutting a strapless bra. So simple, but 
this underwire will give you a different level of support. You can see that the cup is a lot bigger and you can get these in a G, F, you know, a specialty size and have an underwire support. A lot of you have the sheer in the middle of your dress, like a lot of the dresses I've been showing on our Instagram feed and on our YouTube channel. Um, if you are going for that, this is your, your answer because we'll cut that and then sew it in two separate places. And then you'll notice if your dress is tailored and fitting you properly, this will do a lot of work and this is all you'll need. Now that we've covered my favorite bra cups and giving you some tips on why and when you would need to use them and trying them on, is, is there a question that you have? If so, throw it in the chat. Okay, the next one, I'm gonna hop over to Spanx just because we have it here. Let's just stay on track. Here is my unpopular opinion on Spanx. I'm gonna try to get you out of Spanx every single time I can. The reason for that is because the restroom is already something you're processing as it is. You're already trying to think like, oh, in a wedding dress, how do I even use the restroom? You, you, you see all the different products out there on the market. And when you throw Spanx in there, it even more complicates the restroom experience. I am usually the person at a wedding that people come and grab and they're like, help us, you know what you're doing, we need to go to the restroom. I've been in the restroom with so many brides and I know that when they're wearing Spanx, it's like a whole different game. So with Spanx, I know that that's gonna be the answer for a lot of you, and I'm not trying to talk you out of wearing them. I wore Spanx on my wedding day, so I understand you know, the pros and cons, and I chose to use wear Spanx because I could see my belly button in all of my photos, and I didn't want that, so the Spanx was my answer. And I have another trick for you about the belly button, it's the cotton ball. So we need to cover that in a separate one, but that's my tip. You put a cotton ball, put your Spanx on over, or put like a large Band-Aid on it if you're not doing Spanx. That would have been what I needed at that time, but of course that was years ago. I didn't know about the cotton ball trick, but now you know about that trick. Spanx, some of us, this is it, you know? And I've, I've worked with brides where I'm like, yes, you're the perfect candidate for Spanx because their dresses aren't tight or their, their dresses are tight and like this is the best answer. So my recommendation would be, if you own a pair of Spanx, bring them to your fitting, but if you've never worn Spanx in your life, you might wanna pick something up that's maybe um, just like the general Spanx style. Like what I mean by that is it comes high on the tummy all the way up to here because you don't want it rolling down. Don't get something that starts at your waist because typically it'll cut you off. And if you have a side panel of your dress cut out, of course you're gonna have different Q&A that we'll talk about there. But I like to get the one that comes all the way to here. That way when your bra is on it, it keeps it up a little bit better. And then when you go to sit down, it doesn't roll as much. If you have on a bra, it, you know, that you can put on the Spanx and then put the bra over it, that does help keep it from rolling down. You may have other tips too. If you, if you wore Spanx on your wedding day, drop them in the chat, help future brides. Um, I've already told you why I wanna try to get you off of the idea of Spanx with other items. I love these. We sell these Spanx shorts, they're like cheeky bottoms. I actually wear these in almost all of my photo shoots because they give, they're high waisted and they give me the tummy control and they're really thin. I like these for every day also. So this is one that I'm gonna throw in there because they're nude, they're sheer, they don't show panty lines because they come down just right and they are, they're high waisted to do a little con tr tummy control. Here's one that you probably didn't know existed. We have these in nude short and we have these in white long these are really great because they just smooth everything out they're high-waisted the white ones are like compression they're a four-way stretch they're very very strong this is something that you probably didn't know existed i tend to get a lot of aha moments with a slip like this even though the nude you would think i you like the nude more a lot of you prefer the the white one that we have and it's it's, it looks just as good underneath the dress. Boning. This is one that um, we just created all these samples just for you and your feedback. It's so funny, after 13 years, I've been here for 13 plus years, I've been a seamstress since the late 90s, I have never thought to put this boning onto some sort of platform so that I could show it to you and have my staff show this to you easily. Well, it's really hard to try to put six pieces of this into your dress. So um, if you're a stylist or a bridal shop owner or a seamstress, you will love this hack. Put it on a piece of satin so your staff 
can show your clients how this works because if they can't try it and see that it's the answer for them, they're not going to purchase it. So um, I've got these on just a little piece of satin here. You do the edges. The edges are really raw and rough here, so you want that to be protected. And this is boning. This is going to go into your dress. I've got a reel that I've recorded for you on this, but this is going to be really fun. This one's going to be for like a petite um, extension. So like, let's say you're already, your dresses, especially from Ava's, are quality. They're the designers that already have a lot of this in them. But you may have the boning stopping right here and you need just a little bit more like to here. This is going to be great because it's just a shorty, so we can pin it to the original and see how you like it. Here are my pro tips on adding boning. Number one, you have to think about where you sit down. So if you go to sit down and your boning is going into your thighs right here and it breaks, this boning will curl up if you do that multiple times and then you'll all of a sudden have this protrusion of boning right at your hips in this joint right here and you don't want that. So think about that. I would just pin it there and, and let your seamstress mark where it is and then just sit down and really just make sure. A lot of us know we are not gonna be sitting down a lot in our reception. We're like, I will sacrifice having to sit down to make sure my tummy is flat. You may feel that way also. If you are not sitting down much at your reception or don't have to get into a car to go to the reception, you can make that decision for yourself on whether or not you want to go a little further and go into the pelvis. The pelvis area always has wrinkles and it's natural. You cannot structure that because it's the hollow space where you need to be able to sit and do all the things. But if you want to veto that and just go with the fact that you're going to be wearing it for one day, you are not going to sit down. And if you do sit down, you can always use a high bar stool like this and just kind of perch and rest. That's a lot of work for just that area. So you can make that decision for yourself. Now I've given you both sides of it. And that's my tip, just really watching to make sure that if you are sitting, you don't have that curl out. If it curls out, you pretty much have to bend it back and it takes a lot of work to get there. These are multiple sizes. So I've got side pieces and notice how I've angled them. You're gonna need some angled pieces because that's how it works. You start shorter in the tummy and then as you work your way to the side, you get a little bit longer. And when you sit down, you'll kind of see how that works too. All right, so if you have any questions or comments about this, you're gonna throw them into the chat. Now we're gonna talk about bustiers, corset bras, that's here next. Lo these are, I think technically they're called long line bras. Long line bras are, they've been around for a while. Pretty, pretty much old school. Here's an old school long line bra that I grabbed for you. These work so well. And if you're a full figured woman, you're gonna really like just the extra structure. But look what it's doing, it's boning. I really like these if your dress is super heavy, if your dress is super itchy and uncomfortable and you need like a second skin under your dress, this is smart. Or if your dress is super light and transparent and you almost need like a slip into the top, try these on. This one's my favorite. So if I'm going with top five, this one's my favorite. The reason why is it feels like a second skin. Do you see the Spanx on there? You're going to really appreciate the four-way stretch, the comfort, and for being, you know, you could go with a traditional classic, but having a modern option, you'll be able to tell the difference. And I like investing a little bit more into these products because you're going to have a new go-to bra. You're never going to wear a traditional strapless bra again, especially if you have a full cup or if you're a full-figured woman, because you're going to love how these pull you in. These will take on the weight of a really heavy dress. If you're a ball gown lover and you're petite and you're just thinking, oh my goodness, my dress weighs as much as I do, then this is something I want you to try on. Think of it like a second skin, like a liner, um, almost like a slip for the top. And we, they do come in backless, low plunging black back, so I want to show you that as well. Different ways to do these. And last but not least, we've been talking a lot about the inner corset. This is different from boning. The boning is to smooth you out and add structure, almost like a Spanx will. These inner corsets, this is a Peter Sham, so it's like a stretchy material, and then you see that this one's hook and eye, but you can also get the style that has loops, 
where the loops, you just lace it up in the back. I had a lace up on my dress and I loved it because any weight that I lost or if I gained weight, I could do my alterations the day of the wedding and I liked having that on the inside um, or the outside. Either way, it works the same. If your dress has zipper and a button, it zipper and buttons, you're gonna want this on the inside, but some dresses have the corset on the outside. Back when I got married, the corsets on the outside were really common, and I think today it's kind of 50-50. I see a lot of brides that do the outside corset, but then I, I feel like a lot of you are going with the zipper and the buttons. There are different styles. So see how this one's wider? And this one also has additional boning, this one does not. So you can see these can be customized in a number of ways. There's also styles that do not have stretch. These work really well for women that just need that extra structure. And these are different from boning because they bring your waist in. They, I mean, they really make a difference. I tried on Dover and Haven by Maggie Sotero and they have this in there already. So be looking in your dress. You might already have one in there. You may have already paid for one in your dress. And then some don't come with it. It's good to have options. You have to try on variety to know what you like. And when I put on Dover, I was like, yes, this is exactly what the Peter Sham or the seat belt or the inner lace up corset is to, to do. It's to bring that waist in. And I felt like nothing was moving. So if you have a strapless dress or you have a dress that doesn't have a really um, wide strap, you're gonna need support. And when you have one of these in the waist, not only does it draw your waist in, but it activates all the boning that's starting from here to here and it just, kind of gives you that second skin and it makes all the boning activate and do its job which is to slim you and smooth you all right if you have no other questions i'm going to get ready for my one o'clock meeting i'm so excited to be here with you today because i'm i'm so grateful that you joined in the replay go ahead and throw those questions in there and i'll also put the long version on youtube and then i'll put the short version on igtv i can't wait to see you all soon Mwah! We'd love to take a look at your dress or schedule an appointment to shop for your dress. See you on Instagram or comment below.